what is going on guys welcome back to another video and this video is going to be targeted to the people that are really just struggling to buy in a house they may be renting somewhere at the moment and they're really just struggling to get the extra funds into actually saving for a deposit and buying the first home now I'm going to try and make this video as short and concise as possible now when it comes to anything that you want to save for you know there's going to be two factors so you have your income and then you have your expenses now the quickest way to save would be to increase your income and then decrease your expenses and so whatever the ratio is you know your income to expenses that's going to be the thing that's going to hold you back that's going to be the thing that determines how long it's going to take for you to save so i guess what i'm trying to say is you really need to if you're not earning enough if you're simply not earning enough you know you're only just getting by each month you're eating basic food you know you have a basic car and you know you're really your expenses are really as low as they could be you know it's a simple fact you just need to earn more money whether that's you know working more hours whether that's getting a better paid job whether that's starting your own side business, whether that's starting a YouTube channel, you know, using affiliate marketing, selling things on eBay, whatever it is, you know, if your income is just simply too low, you just need to increase it. There's really no excuses now for not earning enough money. You know, if you're in a, a low paid job, simply put yourself out there and get yourself a better paying job. And now with the expenses side of things, you need to, if you want to set yourself up for success, you really need to set yourself a monthly budget so you know where all of your money is going, where all of your wages go in each month. Now, if you want to set yourself up for success, you really need to make yourself a monthly plan. You really need to get on a monthly budget. You need to know where every single pound is going and you really need to really just take control of your money. Now when you actually make the budget, you might find yourself straight away being able to save you know, a good chunk of money. So there'll be various memberships that you might need, not need, you know, there'll be, you might be able to cut down on your monthly bills, like whether that's TV packages, you know, internet subscriptions, um, phone bills, or things like, you know, house insurance, things, little things like that. Like some people are massively overpaying for house insurance and car insurance, you know, you can shop around, get yourself a better deal. Now, for whatever reason in the UK, people just massively overspend when it comes to cars. You know, they feel the need to impress their friends, you know, keep up with the Joneses. And uh, yeah, people just really just feel the need to try and impress people that they don't even like. And what they do is they kid themselves is to thinking, wait, no, I'm, I'm buying this brand new car because an older car will actually cost me more because, you know, I'll have to keep repairing it. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, this is a good deal. And it's only like 300 pound a month. Whereas like, you know, an older car will actually cost me like 500 pound a month in repairs, which is like just complete nonsense. Like you're just basically lying to yourself. Uh, you know, an older car, as long as you get something that's fairly reliable, you know, is not going to cost you like even a fraction of what a brand new car does. Like the amount of depreciation that a new car has, you know, even if you're paying for it cash, like you're still going to be losing a hell of a lot of money on it, you know, over the course of just a few years where, you know, a car that's older is already done the, um, you know, the best part of its depreciation is, you know, you're really not going to lose a whole lot of money on it. So yeah, the biggest way that you can save money is like cutting down on your car expenses or your transport, whatever you have, you have a motorbike whatever you have um, you know really just consider not buying a brand new vehicle consider not buying one with debt uh, you know just consider buying it cash you know you maybe get something a little bit older and that's really going to um, not only actually will it save not only will it be cheaper to buy and you know if you buy it with cash you're not going to have the monthly payments each month so you can save more money it might actually be cheaper with things like car insurance because obviously a cheaper car is worth less and so it's not as it's not as big as a liability for the insurance company so it, in theory it shouldn't really cost as much to insure it obviously you'll have to play around with things like that 
Um, but yeah, like, but having an older car can, you know, save yourself a lot of money. Like the car, for example, the car that I drive is like a 2006 Vauxhall Corsa 1.3 CDTI. Now I got this model because it, you know, it's a very particular model, right? Uh, I got this because like the tax is £30 a year, you know, it's very cheap to run, it's very economical, I get 50 to 60 miles per gallon and you know it's cheap to insure the parts are cheap everything like that so you really need to set yourself up into a position where the running cost of your car is you know pretty low or as low as possible and that's really going to set yourself up for you know a great saving potential now another point that i want to make is that you really just have to be patient when saving for a house deposit you know now it might take you a matter of years depending on how much you want to save depending on how big of a deposit you want but that might mean you know going without a few things that might mean not going on holiday or not going on holiday as much and that might mean you know not having your dream car for a few years but you have to stay patient, you have to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you have to really see the bigger picture. You have to think, okay, why are we actually doing this? Why are we delaying this gratification? Why are we, you know, really just going without? It's because we want to own our own house and we want to put ourselves in this good financial position. Okay then, so the main points of this video would be to make sure that you have a budget, make sure you're tracking your expenses and make sure you have control of your money, make sure you know where it's going each month. Try to make your expenses as low as possible, whether this is you know getting a cheaper car, whether this is playing around with different types of insurances and memberships and just spending less money eating out things like that. And really just being patient, you know, like I said, it is a long process and you know it is really just going to be worth it in the end so just just stick with it just keep going make sure you have a plan and make sure you actually have a goal date therefore it's something that you can see into the future is something that you're like okay once we reach this date we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna eventually buy a house and uh, it's really just gonna give you some hope then it's gonna give you something that you can work towards so yeah i hope this video has been somewhat helpful if you do have any questions of course just leave them down below in the comment section please give this video a like and i'll see you in that next video peace